I gotta exemplify and say that. Is it recording? Yeah, it's not recording. Yeah, I have to say great. I'm not recording. Heck, I'll focus. This is my problem, man. Um. Alright, that's good. Cool. Alright, so check this out. We're gonna make two different solutions. Got one here. Okay, so think about this. Um, so carbonates and bicarbonates always react with acid to produce CO2 and water. Um, we know this from our previous demonstration. Is this really neutral distilled water? No, no it turned very turned pea yellow, right, when we use the bromo thymol. So we know that this is slightly acidic, which is why it's already reacted. But we still have the compounds in here that can create a buffer. So I'm going to give it a quick stir. Note, you should never use a metal object to stir in a glass container. Why is that? Because then the glass container goes bang, bang, and then it breaks. <laughs> um, but I don't, I don't have a glass stir rod on it, so I Okay. All right. So now that I've kind of stirred this up, let's make a prediction. Do we think this is going to be acidic, basic, or neutral? What do you add? Oh, is it the Alka Seltzer, which is a buffer? Uh, it's going to be basic. Acidic. 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 Oh, green. Neutral, guys. Oh, it's acidic. 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 Oh, we need more. <laughs> what the heck? It's like lemonade. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now remember, what's the neutral color again? Green. 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 This is kind of like a green yellow, so it, it's probably close, maybe a little bit on the acidic side. Okay. So now, now we're gonna add some acid and see what happens. Or actually, we'll see how many, how much base we can add until it starts to turn. So hopefully alka is a good buffer. Let's find out. It's supposed to turn green, right? So remember, base Wait, turns it blue. To adding this two molar ammonium hydroxide. Yeah, they want to be How many drops are there? Ten. So that's ten. Pretty good. Ooh. Oh. So it's kind of neutral now. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I like that Okay. So it's still kind of green, right? So this is the citric acid, right, in the Alka Seltzer reacting with the ammonium hydroxide in here. And remember, this is twice as concentrated as your HCl. That was another ten ish. Okay, so it took about 30 drops to turn it, right? Um, and then this one looks already pretty acidic. I just wonder if we can make it any more yellow. Now we'll add the H. Oh, now it's back to green. Shoo! <laughs> Check that out. Turn back green. So this is a pretty strong buffer. Bicarbonate, uh, sodium bicarbonate is also known as baking soda in the real world um, to non-nerds out there. And so uh, this is really good because baking soda can serve as a buffer. It's blue. Let's see what happens. Yeah, change the path. How come baking soda is like, so useful? No. Done? Yeah. Nah. No, it's changing. Oh, it's changing. The bottom's changing. What? It's changing back to green. Whoa. No. Oh, what? go buffer. <laughs> go buffer, go. Oh. <laughs> Check that out. Now it's turning back green. That's right. That's wrong. I didn't like it. I like that picture. Is that why it helps your stomach? So what this is doing is trying to balance the, uh, the pH, and so now we're back to neutral. So, powerful buffer. You guys get to eat buffers if you feel upset. <laughs> but check this out. It's so powerful, it brings it back to 7. I mean, if you drank ammonia and then had an Alka-Seltzer, it might fix it. Don't drink ammonia. Uh, but it, it's a pretty powerful buffer system, so it's kind of cool. <laughs> Round of applause for the colored beakers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.